has commended President Balatinubu's intervention through major policies aimed at bringing positive uh, change to the nation. The vice president, who represented President Tinubu at the 2024 NBA conference, explained that many people may not understand the relevance of the policies. They will come to appreciate it in the next few years. Also at the event was the director general of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, who stressed the need to maintain good economic and social policies that are not changed even when a new administration comes in. Ms. Okonjo-Iweala says attaining true independence of the judiciary will ensure government at all levels are held accountable. In the past three months in office, the albatross round the Nigerian neck is the fuel subsidy. And we know the consequences of unveiling a masquerade. He withdrew the fuel subsidy that was hemorrhaging the Nigerian economy in his first day in office. Beyond that, the collapse of the multiple exchange rate regime that provided an opaqueness and room for corruption was also one of the monumental decisions of the Tinubu administration. And most importantly, the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform, headed by one of the best accountants in this country, Tayo Odeldele, to harmonize all our taxes, to bring them into single-digit taxation system, is worthy of mention. While I acknowledge the temporal existence of some daunting challenges besetting us as a nation, I want to assure you that this government is poised to address all the developmental challenges facing this country and be rest assured that in the fullness of time, this nation shall overcome. True independence of the judiciary and the electoral commission. All parties must agree that these institutions should not be tampered with, win or lose. As I said earlier, civil society and in particular the Nigerian Bar Association have a major responsibility to monitor observance of the social contract, especially the element of the Judiciary and Electoral Commission. The MBA should also be active in seeing which elements of the social contract can be institutionalized by codifying it into law or strengthening already existing laws, rules, and regulations. The MBA can even look at whether any part should be incorporated into our constitution to make them less easy to tamper with. I'm convinced it will enable us to build a strong and stable foundation for Nigeria upon which it can thrive. And still to come on TVC Breakfast.